Hello, I'm Andrea Kennedy. I'm a Reiki master teacher, and I'm here on YouTube to help Reiki go more mainstream, demystifying it a little bit, and I often will offer healing videos. And this video, I'm going to offer a bit of an explanation before we get into the Reiki, because if any topic needs a little explaining, I think it is spirit attachments. I hope you'll take a minute and listen to me and perhaps um, reduce a little bit of fear you might have about spirit attachments. The truth is they're very, very common. And while some energy that attaches to us might have consciousness associated with it, other energy doesn't. As a Reiki practitioner, sometimes I hear that when we practice Reiki, we attract all of these other energies to us. And I have to say that is not my experience at all. It's just that we are in the field of working with energy. And so it would make sense that we just have more awareness about what we're all really exposed to every day. I'd invite you to consider that the energies that might attach to us um, most of the time um, really don't mean us any harm. They're either trying to have their own needs met or they're attaching to us thinking that they might be helping us in some way. Of course, there are darker energies out there. I don't deny that at all. I certainly don't go looking for them, and I don't really come across them in my own experience and practice. This video isn't meant at all to deny that those things exist, uh, but I just want to make you aware that for the most part, these things are just pretty common every day, and it's really a fact of life that from time to time, we may pick up spirit attachments and even curses and things like that. Now, that might cause some fear right there. But what I would invite you to do, if you want to know more about this topic, I have a podcast that I co-host with Kathleen Johnson. She's also a Reiki master. The podcast is called Beyond the Reiki Gateway. And at the current time, I think we have about 39 episodes. If you haven't checked it out, it's about a lot of spiritual topics, not just Reiki. So I hope that you'll check it out. But one, well, two episodes that we have on there are associated with this topic of spirit attachments. The first one featured a guest named Gail Revels. She is an energy specialist and she practices currently from San Francisco here in the USA. Gail is extremely gifted and can hear spirits and tune in with them, and she knows how to clear them. I'd love for you to learn more from Gail because she has so much experience and she shares so much with us in that episode. I will link that episode in the description under this video, so click to open that under here for that link. I'll also put it here on the video for you. That episode is one of our most popular. And the podcast itself is ranked in the top 2% of all podcasts in the world, which is almost 3 million. And if you like that episode, another one came out where Kathleen and I share what happened when we each had individual sessions with Gail. I think you might be pretty interested in finding out what we learned. Here's the artwork for that one, and the link will still be down below with the other one. And one more little bonus for you. If you resonate with Gail and decide to go ahead and have a session with her, enter the code BTRG25 when you book your appointment with Gail and save $25, at least uh, at the time that this video is published. It is absolutely fascinating, let me tell you. And you know, I don't really recommend too much here on the channel. So when I do, I, I really do mean it. Now back to the explanation. And I mentioned getting the fear or setting the fear aside. And I just want to point something out. You know, here on Earth, in our physical bodies, we are in a sea of people all the time when we leave our home. And even family members and friends and associates, you know, whoever that might be, they may have different energies, a whole spectrum of energies. Some of those people might be loving and caring and helpful to us. Others might be more manipulative, a little bit uh, draining on our energy and things like that. Well, you know, spirit energy that attaches to us, we could really categorize much the same way. The part where the fear, I think, comes in is that we just don't see these other spirits. We don't see that energy, which understandably 
could cause some fear. Often regular Reiki sessions can help clear those away. Sometimes we need a little bit extra and this video is going to have me offering a spirit release technique to you through the video. And we teach that in the style of Reiki that I teach, Holy Fire Reiki, and it's a very effective technique. It is not about fighting with or forcing any energy to do anything. It's just simply offering a better option for them so that they can detach and go to a higher vibrational place that is better suited so that they can receive what they need. And also you can heal from any energy depletion you might have suffered by their presence in your field. If you're a Reiki practitioner, signs that your client might have a spirit attachment can include things like uh, that they feel that they're blocked. You know, they keep trying to accomplish a certain thing or heal a certain thing and they just can't do it. That might be a tip off. Another clue that they might have a spirit in resonance with them is that they might have a condition that they've gone to every specialist, every doctor, every sort of appointment, and those people can't find any explanation to explain their symptoms. So that could be another one. And then finally, if your client tells you they have a chronic illness, especially one that creates very low energy, such as fibromyalgia or chronic fatigue syndrome, that is a time to investigate whether or not they have a spirit attachment and then utilize your Reiki technique, your Reiki training to release that energy for your client. I realize that this is a very deep and perhaps complex topic for many watching, and this is really only a very short explanation. I want to go ahead and get to the Reiki portion of the video for you to help you release all the energy that might be in communion with you, whether you're aware of it or not, that isn't in your highest good so that you can have sovereignty over your own energy, feel more empowered, and are better able to fulfill your purpose and your mission here on earth and any goals that you feel are important. Let's go ahead and get started. And you may sit back, relax, you can close your eyes or leave them open. And I'm offering you now the spirit attachment release technique. For your highest good.
And we now conclude the spirit attachment release session. Sealing in that healing energy for you so you can integrate and process and move forward in life. If you still feel that you're blocked up, your energy is still low, or you just maybe have a feeling that you need a little bit more, please listen to the podcast that I explained earlier in the video. I think you'll learn quite a bit from it. And if you're so guided, check out Gail and her website. As always, thank you for joining me, and I wish you the highest Reiki blessings. Until next time.